In my smart home tour last year, I showed how in this bathroom, the lights automatically come on whenever you enter the room. And that's because I have a SmartThings motion sensor there, plugged in or connected to a SmartThings hub that works with this smart light switch right here. So that's a lot of work. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you one device that can do it all. This is the smart Wi-Fi dimmer switch that is motion activated from TP-Link. So this has a motion sensor built in as well as brightness controls. This will work with the Amazon Voice Assistant, Google Assistant, as well as Link to SmartThings. Um, apps available on the App Store as well as the Google Play Store. And so here it says built-in motion sensor and ambient light sensor work together for true hands-free control. Our smart dimmer conveniently auto adjusts your room brightness with smart modes Further customize your light settings to follow your routine with easy to use setup in the app. All right, and in the box there, we do get a faceplate, and then there we have the switch. So we have the sensor right there on the top. We have our brightness controls, and then we have the switch that we can press in just like that. And at the bottom of these, you do have like a reset button and a restart button so you can factory reset if you need to. Here this does require a neutral wire so we have neutral ground and then over here on this side we have our load so that goes up to the light and then here we have our line which is the power coming in. It also came with a few wire nuts and some instructions. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Now the first thing to do is turn off the power and remove the old light switch. So now we have the ground with the green we have the black line here, so that's where the power's coming in. Then we have the white load. Most likely your load's gonna be black. And then we have the bundle of neutral where I've put the white wire on the back. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and wire it all up. All right, let's turn the power back on and turn on the light. We have power. Let's go ahead and get it set up in the Casa app. I've already created my account. I'm going to select the plus up here. And then we have device. And we're going to choose smart switches. Then down here at the bottom, we have motion activated switch, but that's not the right one. We have motion activated dimmer um, at the bottom of my list right here. And then yes, we have set it up. And here it's asking, is it glowing green and orange? And if we turn off the light, yes it is. So we're going to hit yes. Connect to the smart dimmer. Connect. And then we're going to add our Wi-Fi network. And then here you need to open up your Wi-Fi settings and make sure you connect back to your Wi-Fi. And say I'm already connected. And then we're gonna give this a name. And we're gonna call this basement bathroom light. And here we're gonna choose this little symbol right there. Okay, let's do a dimming test. And if you need to calibrate this later, you can do that. Sounds good, our switch has been set up. So then, um, there's a firmware update, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so it says, welcome to your smart dimmer. Swipe for tips on how to use the dimmer. So create smart modes to customize the light settings to follow your routine. Scenes and actions. Integrate your smart dimmer with other cost of devices using scenes and smart actions. Advanced settings, use the Casa app to configure gentle on and off, dial in specific brightness and more. All right, so let's get started. So here we have our basement bathroom light and let's go ahead and go through the calibration again now that it's updated. Now with the dimming calibration, when you come in here, the first thing you want to do is you wanna change the lights so that it goes down until it turns off or it doesn't look good. So if it's flickering, you would want to turn it up a bit so it's at its lowest level. And then you would want to do the test. So the lights are set without flickering or anything. So now we're going to do the test. It's going to then bring it up to full brightness so that you know, okay, that's the full brightness and then go back down to dim. And if that looks good, you can say, yep, that's good. Or if it didn't work properly, you can adjust that. So before it didn't actually work, um, but after the update, it is now working. All right, so now it's all good. Now let's go back there at 1%, 50%, all the way up to 100. There we go. For manual control of the switch, we have the option to turn the light 
on and off like that. And then we can adjust the brightness by holding down there. There is no LED indicator on what the brightness is, um, just a visual. And then you do have the option to hold down to turn off, or you can hold down to turn all the way on full brightness right there. So we're gonna play with this for a bit and then I'll come back and show you how it all works. I now have the motion dimmer all set up. Let me show you how quickly this turns on when we open the door. That's pretty cool. As soon as I open the door, it turns on the lights. So now let me show you how it turns off after I leave. One minute later. And there we go. Now that time can be adjusted in the app. Uh, let's just test out the arm sensitivity. Pretty good. So now let me walk you through all the adjustments that you can make in the app. Now this switch can do some really awesome stuff and it's really cool because you don't need the hub. Right now I have this set where in the daytime it's gonna go to full brightness, but if you come in here in the evening, it's automatically going to go to the most dim level, which is really cool. Let me show you how you set that up. So first we have the option to quickly turn it on and off right there. If we tap here, we can do the same, but then we also have the brightness control so we can change it to whatever brightness we want. And here we have some presets at the top. You can customize these. Um, then let's head into the settings. So here we can change the name. We have the fade on and off. So this just has the instant or the duration. So you can have it one second up to uh, 60 seconds to turn on. Let's go ahead and try out the instant for the on and off. So those have been updated, so let's turn it off. And there you can see it's much more instant when you are turning on the light. It's kind of nice to have the fade on at night. Um, so let's go ahead and keep it just at the one second fade on. Okay, next we have manual buffer. So the manual buffer is how long before the motion sensor is going to reactivate after you turn on the light. So this actually works really well. So if I turned off the light right now, within five seconds, it would then be able to detect motion again. So one, two, three, four, five, there you go. It saw the motion already. If you wanted a little more buffer, I think I had it like 15 seconds, then it may not turn on as much as you want. And then you have up to 60 seconds of buffer if you want. So if you turned off the light and walked right back in, it wouldn't turn on, um, but it'd just take a few seconds. If you wanted it to not turn on for 60 seconds, you do have that option. Let's set this back to 10 seconds. Next you have presets. So here you can adjust the different percent level presets. Here you have the motion sensor presets, so you can turn on and off the motion sensor. You can also change from far range, mid range, or close range. I like the far range. Let's go ahead and do a more thorough test of that. Okay, this is the quick sensitivity level. All right, so that was the more sensitive sensitivity level. Let's go to medium. That worked great, and now let's go to the least sensitive. All right, so as you can see, that one did take a lot longer to turn on. All right, so that was the more right, so sensitive you that sensitivity one did take level. A lot longer go to medium. Next, we have the ambient light sensor. The ambient light sensor works as one of the triggers for smart mode. It turns the lights on when your ambient setting is reached and motion is detected. So here it's saying that the ambient is detected by the smart dimmer, which is a reference for you to adjust the preset variable values. So let's check out the different ambient modes. So right now, um, so if it's cloudy outside or inside and it detects motion, then it's going to turn on the light. So if you, uh, you know, the more cloudiness you have, but if it's barely cloudy, then that would work. So here you can, you know, when it's overcast, you could come in here and change what that looks like so that you can um, kind of teach this what that's like, you have dusk, dawn, twilight, darkness, custom. Now in this room, I have zero ambience, like there's no sun that comes into this room, so I can't really do much there. Um, but here it's saying the current ambience 
is 39. Let's see what happens if we turn off the light. Okay, so now it's down to five. So you can kind of play with this to see what um, is going to work on these different presets and test that out, but I can't really do that here in this room. And then we do have the option to turn off the LED light. So when the lights are off, you can see that little light right here. And if I wanted to, I can turn that off so you no longer see the light. And then down here you have sort of tutorials, device info, and then you can adjust the dimming calibration if you need to. Now let's talk about the smart controls, which I think are just so cool to have here. So I've already set these up. Um, and so is what we have here is we have two different rules that I have created. So the first rule is 7.30 to 9.15. So during the day, when motion is detected, it's going to turn on 100% brightness. And then the light will automatically turn off when no motion is detected for one minute. So I could have it where you have to manually turn it off or you, I can set a certain amount of time. So we're just gonna keep it at the, let's do 30 second mark. Okay, so that's one. Now if I tap on the other one here, this is the 9.15 to the 7.30 a.m. So what is going to happen all night? So if motion is detected, it's automatically gonna go and turn on to the 20% brightness instead of going full brightness. This is so nice, you walk into the bathroom at night and it doesn't blind you, but it has a nice soft light level. Now you do need to have dimmable lights to be able to do this. You also can choose the last on state if you wanted to do that. So then for this, it's going to automatically turn off the lights um, after so many minutes. Okay, perfect. So what if I wanted to add more to this or change the times? Well, it's pretty cool. You can come up here and you just adjust the time like that. You can adjust one and then you can adjust the other. So I do wanna keep this morning time and you can see it's adjusting down here. Let's say, you know, 7.45 that is the brighter one. So let's go ahead and add a time. So I did need to make room for it over here. So one issue I found is at night, if you're showering or anything here in the bathroom, the light automatically turns off if it can't detect you. So then that causes a problem. So what I can do here is I can say, all right, if their motion is detected, it's going to turn on. And then here I could have it turn off after you know 10 or 20 minutes of no motion. So this would just happen in the evening. Of course, you can always turn off the light. Um, and if it's left on, that means it's only going to be left on for 10 minutes. But I really like how I have this option to really make this a super smart light with being able to change the brightness in the evening or being able to turn on longer when we need it or shorter and so on. So lots of cool options here with this smart control. So we're gonna go ahead and save that and uh, you know, if the kids, if it doesn't work out, the kids will definitely let me know. So then what other things can you do with the uh, motion sensor dimmer? Well, here you can create a schedule so you can just have it automatically turn on and off at a certain time, days of the weeks. Next, you have the option to set a timer. So uh, if you wanna just have the light on and not use the motion settings, you can come in here and say, turn the light off after 20 minutes. Um, and then you have the option for away. So is what you can do is you can create this schedule, um, let's say in the evenings at eight, you know, four to 8 p.m., where if you are not home, the lights can automatically turn on and off, letting people think that you're home if they can see this light. So that's a cool feature that TP-Link has added to their different light switches. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Now there are a few other things you can do if you have TP-Link products. You can create different scenes where it would automatically turn on the lights and so on. So you can actually come in here and add a new automation. So if um, a motion sensor, like a camera detects something, it could automatically turn on these lights. So we have a camera in the garage, we could have it automatically turn these on. We can also control a switch. So if I wanted this bathroom light switch to control the hallway switch at the same time, I could come in here, so I choose the bathroom switch and then I choose what switch I want it to control. So let's say we want to control the hallway. I can do that. And then now whenever I turn on this switch, it's going to change the hallway. So that's one of the really cool routines that you can do with the CASA system. Um, and then another one is you can have a scheduled scene and you can also have that auto off timer where 
it's automatically gonna turn off, but this doesn't really need that because it has those features already built in to the switch. And so those are the smart actions. Okay, so here we have full brightness in the middle of the day with high sensitivity. All right, walk in, works, no problem. So now we have dim light in the evening. Oh, much better. So what happens when you're occupying the room and the light turns off? Well, you want to just wave and it will turn back on. Now you may want to adjust your smart controls so when you're occupying the room, it doesn't turn off so quickly. So after having used the two different motion sensors, one being connected to a smart hub and one being directly connected into the light switch, I would definitely recommend going with the light switch option. It's so nice that everything is right there in one app. And I love the smart control features that Casa has built into the app where it makes it super easy to automatically adjust the lights during the time of day or in the evening on and whatever brightness you want. I think that is such a huge benefit because <laughs> because with the lights up here, um, when using smart things, I have to create like four different routines to be able to get it to do all the different things that I want. But I think it's so nice that this smart dimmer motion sensor has all of that features built right in. Being able to create the automation where it's automatically changing the light brightness at night and changing in a different brightness in the day is so easy to use. But it's really nice that it has that kind of 24 hour wheel that all the times line up correctly on the motion sensor so that there's no overlapping and it's just way easier to make work with this versus getting the hub and all that other stuff. Now, one thing I haven't even mentioned yet is this is compatible with your smart assistants, Google Assistant, as well as Amazon Voice Assistant. Now you can also incorporate the light into smart things, but the motion sensor does not work within smart things. Let's go ahead and do a voice test. Hey Google, turn off the lights. Hey Google, set the lights to 50%. And then I can use those quick commands where I hold down on the light as well, turns off, hold it down again, turns all the way to full brightness. Now I don't see the need as much for voice commands with this switch, but it's nice to have if you do have your set where it doesn't automatically turn off after a minute or two, and you can incorporate it into the rest of your automations in your voice assistant app to automatically turn it off with goodnight or other routines like that. So overall, I'm very impressed with this new motion sensor smart switch from TP-Link. It can do pretty much everything that I would want it to do. If you have any further questions about this switch, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in getting one, I'll leave a link right below the like button. If you do want to learn more about how to incorporate this with your smart home, you can check out the other video right here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.